Oh, I'm going to create two cabinets, draw two cabinets on there, trying to explain what I was, what was showing you on my last drawing. So if I go up here, these are different things that I can create. 500, so I just set 500 lots. So I'll lock that in. 720, 500 by 720. That's what the size of one of those cabinets was. I need to decide where it's going to go. So that's one cabinet. Just zoom in a bit. I want to create another one next to it, 600. I'm going to turn these, these are snap modes. This is where it sticks to on the screen. Show you in a minute. If I turn on the vertex and the intersection, you see that little pink triangle there, that little pink square. That's where it'll stick to wherever I want it to there. At the moment, it's on vertex and intersection, which is where two lines meet. So if I click on there, see now I've got a 600 cabinet. Just turn those two off. Leave it on this one, which is nearest, so it'll stick to anything, whatever's nearest. So I've got a 600 there. Oops. And a 500 there. All right, now I'm going to add two lines to it. Now I'm going to add the gap around the edge. So what I've got up here is construction lines. So I decided to two mil because that's what I quite often use it. Just zoom in a little bit. Just turn off the snap mode, you don't need that on there. You see that's added a line on the inside, 2mm. These are just temporary lines that give you something to work to. You can use this snap mode to snap things to these temporary lines, which I'm going to do now. Go to this one, which is a double line. Right click, 75mm, that's what it was set up for the last one. These ones tell me which which side I want to snap the line on. So go from the center to the left. Go back to the left. These just tell you whether it's a full box or whether it's just two lines. See, so I can take those lines away from the end. Now we can turn that off, put the vertex and the intersection back on, now it'll snap to, just zoom in a bit, now it'll snap to these construction lines you see, previous mode, previous view I mean, I'll just zoom in down there just make sure we get the right one, previous view, you see, even though I'm working on this, I can move this over here and you see the little pink square will snap to that to that line there. So I can go across there, go across there. Just going to zoom in at the bottom there again. Snap to that one. Previous view. Oops. Wrong one. Go up there, snap to that one, previous view. My old mouse broke. But basically that's me two doors. If I zoom in up here, See that's the let's get rid of them construction lines and just turn them off. I can create as many layers here as I want and I can add each one of these things to a different layer and turn them on and off by clicking this eye. See they're gone away, look. Turn them back on again, look. See the double yet the red lines go away. On, off, leave them off. If 
try to uh, zoom back in there. See that's our cabinet down the middle. Just put my point on. See that's our cabinet down the middle. That's my two mil gap. So if I go there, click those two off. So we'll just snap into whatever's nearest now. So it's just two mil up there. Two mil gap there. But between the two doors, there's four mil. So if we enlarge it, you see there's two mil to the edge of the cabinets, but there's four mil between the two doors. There's only two mil over here. Though. And there'll be just two mil over here as well. So what we end up with is a, a door that's 496 and the other door is 596. Now if I want to, I can select by entity type. I want double line, which is there. This mouse is jumping around all over the place. I can fill that in. Let's go with that one. It is going to, now let's go with this one, dim grey. This cabinet, this cupboard, this, this kitchen is going to be dark grey. We go to this one as well. Just put it back on vertexes, fill that in, oops, wrong colour, that's basically what the kitchen doors are going to look like, you can just see, zoom in a little bit, you see the cabinet going around there, that's the gap that's going to be down the middle. And the gap down the edge. And while I'm at it, let me just. This is that last video I've made. These are all the little clips. All these little spaces are all the little clips. I go over here it shows me all the clips these are all the clips that I made to put that video together this has got loads of things that you can do with it chroma key and colors and zoom in and changing it anyway and These are the clips that I saved, that I filmed in the shed. These are what I copied off my phone. There was probably another third again that I deleted that were just rubbish where I was waffling. Anyway, I hope that explains it a little bit. I added two mil to the edges. I added a space basically. Added clearance.